Hi, best friends. I'm back again with another edition of Ridiculous Parent Requests. I thought we would run out by this point in time, but it's uh, it's just the gift that keeps on giving. This is the song that never ends. But it is at this point quite entertaining. So let's get into it. I'm a school secretary and we once had a homeschool parent call into the school requesting a sub be sent to her home to teach her homeschool child while she was out of town for a couple of days. Ma'am, I don't <laughs> I don't think that works the way that you think it works. Your child doesn't go to school here, therefore we cannot send a sub. But also, we're not babysitters. Well, you know what? Y'all pay us and treat us like we're babysitters. So maybe I can understand a little bit why you thought you could call the school to get a babysitter, but we're, I'm we're not babysitters and, and it doesn't work that way. You better send them with a relative, okay? I received this note from a mom last year. I'm out of town this week for work. Could you please not hold my child accountable for her misbehavior while I'm gone? It's probably gonna be her dad's fault. <laughs> Listen, whatever despicable dispute that you and her dad are having, leave me out of it, baby. I don't know if you noticed or not, but she misbehaves when you're in town and out of town. So I think you might share a little bit in the fault as well. But that's just me. I'm not no custody lawyer, so don't ask me. I had a parent ask that I send home pictures of their son's loose bowel movements so they could know if his diarrhea was improving. You know what? You need to go to the doctor and get your brain scanned to make sure you don't have any screws loose because I'm not... It's nasty. I had a parent ask that I share my lesson plans for the entire year at open house so she could verify the accuracy of the information. Now see, if I ask to verify the accuracy of your parenting skills, you're gonna get mad. So don't throw stones. You're gonna get mad, but you know what? You know what? You know what? If you're mad, you can put on a cape so you can be super mad. I had a parent email me angry that her daughter didn't go home with her phone fully charged, saying that it's my responsibility while she's at school under my supervision to make sure her phone is charged and to make sure that she leaves school with a fully charged phone. <laughs> Ma'am, what about me says that I work for Apple or Google tech support? Now, there are some things that are my job. Your child's fully charged phone is not one of them. Your child's fully charged brain might be responsible for a little bit of that, okay? Me and you are 50-50 on that. Not really, because you know what I'm saying, I do more than 50%, but that's neither here nor there. I'm not making sure your daggum child's phone is charged. Trying to make sure her brain charged, her phone, I don't care. Y'all wonder why these kids attached to these daggum phones? It's you. You're the pro, is it me? It's you. I'm the problem, it's me. It's you. Is you. We had a parent call asking the school secretary to put a plastic grocery bag over their child's head when it was raining to protect their hairdo. Ma'am, do you not watch the news? You don't watch the news? Cause that's a surefire way for me to end up on the local news. I have an easier, much safer option. It's safer for me, safer for you, safer for your child. It's called a freaking umbrella. I had a mom call me last year asking that I fix her daughter's hair at the end of the day every day because they had places to go after school. Girl, I got places to go after school too. It's called happy hour after dealing with y'all's kids all day. A dad told me the devil was hiding in his kid's body and that my job for the year was to try to get it out of him. I laughed thinking he was joking, but he had a straight face. Understand this. I'm not adding exorcist or priest to the many hats that I already wear as a teacher, baby. You need to call one of them. Don't call me. Cause, cause, cause I can't, I'm not dealing with little Lucifer masquerading as an angel of light. He a Sour Patch Kid. That's probably all that's wrong with him, okay? Some of the stuff y'all be asking people to do, like... <laughs> <laughs> Some of the things that y'all are asking, I could never, even if I wasn't a teacher, I could never ask my child's teacher to do some of the things that y'all are asking. Like, do you hear how crazy you sound? I once had a dad ask me if I'd round his son's grade up for $20. Dollars, make it a hundred, and you got a deal. I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, but but for real though, because teacher salaries are like this big. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't be a cheapskate on your child's education. I mean, you can round it up. I'm just playing. Round it up, maybe to two hundred since you irritated me with that low offer. I had a parent ask me to go look for their child's missing tooth on the playground after school. Girl, do I look like Sherlock Holmes? Watson, the game is afoot. Girl, get out of my. Look for your child's missing. You go, you do it. 
You do it. I had a mom once message me that if I wanted her child in school, I had to come to her house and get the child out of bed because she was tired of having to do it. Well, I guess you're going to truancy court because that's between you and them. That ain't got nothing to do with me, baby. That's between you and the circuit court judge. Good luck. Because who do y'all think we are? I'm not your nanny, your butler, your babysitter, your personal assistant. My name is your child's teacher at school. When I was teaching first grade, I had a mom ask me to make sure her son was drinking eight ounces of water a day. And no, she didn't send in a water bottle. I was supposed to measure what he was drinking by counting how long he sipped from the water fountain. I have said this time and time again, first of all, I don't do public math, okay? Everybody that knows me knows that about me. Are you new here? I don't do public math. This sounds like a math word problem. And again, I don't do public math. Cause girl, tell your son to drink some water before he leave the house and leave me alone. I mean, as the kids would say, it's the way you act. It's the way you act. What is wrong with y'all? Comment y'all's ridiculous parent requests in the comments, cause I know we got some more. This, this is literally the song that never ends because as long as there's parents and teachers and children, there will be ridiculous parent requests. Have you no shame?